difference between king post toss and queen post toss king post toss and queen post toss both are the type of toss roof king post toss if the span length is in the range of 5 to 8 meter king post toss are used if the span length is in the range of 5 to 8 meter then king post toss are used if the span length is 8 meter to 12 meter then the queen post toss are used if the span length is 8 to 12 meter then queen post toss are used a vertical post provided in the center called the king post in king post there is a uh, there is there is a vertical member at the center of tie beam which is known as a king post there is the figure of king post toss this vertical member which is placed as the center of the tie beam is known as a king post two vertical post provided in the two side at the distance known as queen post these two two vertical post are known as a queen post standing beam is not required in case of king post toss there is no requirement of standing beam and in case of queen post there is a requirement of standing beam standing beam is a horizontal member which connect the head of the queen post this is a standing beam the top end of two main rafters are connected to rise pitch and the top end of two main rafters are joined with the queen post head the top of two end of a uh, rafter joint with the queen post head here is the figure of king post toss and queen post toss this horizontal uh, this horizontal member is known as a tie beam this vertical passes through this this particular place uh, placed in the uh, center of tie beam is known as a king post and this inclined uh, this two inclined member which connect the principal rafter and the king post is known as a struts and this this two vertical post is known as a queen post and the horizontal post which join join the heads of queen post is known as stern beam and this horizontal member is known as a tie beam and these are the difference between king post toss and queen post toss